place. Uh, very eventful, probably the best way to describe it. Um, something new happens every day, so um, we've done a lot of camera trapping, um, set a few capture cages out as well. Um, game counts, which are really cool, because anything when you're out in the field over here is incredible, because the scenery is just immense, is the best way to describe it, definitely. And what have your highlights been so far? Uh, highlights so far, um, the stars. Uh, we did a sundowner uh, on top of the mount one of the mountains here, and basically watched the sun go down, uh, and the food is really good, like really good food, oh, definitely, yeah. yeah. Just go for it, basically, it's definitely wild Sagus. There's nowhere like this in the world, so you just got to go for it and experience it and you've got memories forever. And any tips to tips you could give anyone coming on this project? Come open-minded, I think. Don't expect anything, because something new happens every day. And what, what sort of activities have you been taking part in? Um, well, normally it's supposed to be really research-based, but we had an incident with one of the cheetahs, so we've been dealing a lot with that and having the vet come down and been around the area with the cheetahs, making sure everything's healthy so far. Um, but we've also done a few hikes, like checking camera traps, um, looking for hyena, scat and spores, that sort of thing. And a day in the life, would you be able to give you a description of what time you get up, how the whole day would go from beginning to end? A typical day? Uh, I try to start at 7.30, um, and then depends on the activities. Sometimes a hike, sometimes we do game counts in a car. Exploring, research, checking camera traps. Uh, we set up a trap cage last week, which was really interesting. Um, what we're trying to do is put out some food that might attract the hyenas, and by camera trapping, we can monitor how much uh, of a distance they will come closer or farther away from their normal den sites or latrine sites, and that allows us to study their behaviour. The whole area here, we have on the north side, we have one clan of hyenas, and on the south side, we have another clan. So by putting out food sources, we can study their movements to see if this is a territory that they come to. And if it's not, by baiting it, we can see if we can start moving them into that territory. So it allows us to figure out where they like to hunt and scavenge usually, and if this is an area that they just don't use at all. I mean, this is an old one, so cheetahs, I would say, would probably be a, a blacker color because they drink blood. So, so this is probably going to be a leopard, but you can see in here there's little bits of bone fragments. And there's a lot of hair quite a lot of hair, so that's obviously a clear indication that it's a carnivore rather than yeah. an oryx or anything else.